This will turn you into an advanced ChatGPT user overnight. I want to give you a simple nine step ChatGPT prompt framework. Following this simple framework will allow you to get the maximum out of ChatGPT. Now this framework won't only work in ChatGPT. This will also work in perplexity.ai, in Google Gemini, in Claude.ai, and Microsoft Copilot. So this is a universal framework. All of the tools that I have just mentioned have both free versions and paid versions. The paid versions will be more powerful than the free versions, but the free versions are a good place to start. So everything that I mentioned in this framework can be used both on the ChatGPT free version and also on the paid version. Remember, the output that we get out of ChatGPT is only as good as the prompt that we give it. A prompt, put simply, is just the instruction that we give ChatGPT. If you use this framework correctly, this will turn you into an advanced ChatGPT user overnight. So I'm going to give you this framework and at the end, I will actually show you an example of this framework in action. Before we get started, I want to give you a quick warning. If you just copy and paste my prompts or anyone else's prompts for that matter, you are actually doing yourself a disservice. You can test this framework to see that it works by just copying and pasting my prompts but if you want to get the best out of these prompts, I would highly advise you to just use my prompts as a guide and tweak it to make it your own. And this could just be a subtle change. Maybe you could just change the wording. Because remember, everyone is unique. So you want to tailor these prompts to the way that you communicate. And this will allow you to get the best possible results from any type of AI that you are trying to use. So number one is a role with a speciality. Now here is an example. You are a copywriter. That is a role. But now you will notice that that is too broad because you get many types of copywriters. For example, you can get a copywriter that specializes in Facebook ads. You can get a copywriter that specializes in social media captions. You can get a copywriter that specializes in email marketing. You could get a copywriter that specializes in novels, etc. So by specifying what type of role you are looking for, this will allow you to get the best possible results. So here is an example. You are a copywriter. You specialize in writing high converting sales copy. Now, can you see the difference? Had I just said you are a copywriter, this would have been too broad. So now that we've got our role with a speciality, the next step is a task. So what do we want it to do? So for example, I want you to write a sales page. So I'm telling it exactly what I want it to do. And then step three is, who is it for? Example, this sales page is for my dental practice called Miami Dental. Then number four is goal. So what are you trying to achieve by doing this task? Example, my goal is to book more appointments. So I'm telling it what I'm looking to achieve with the task that I am looking to do. And number five is a reference text. So feed it some of your own text. So for example, if you have written something in the past, you could actually feed it your own text and ask it to copy that style. Now, if you don't have any of your own text, then you can actually use an industry leader and ask it to use that as a style reference. So, for example, ask it to write in the style of Shakespeare. So, you can use any industry leader depending on the task that you are trying to do. Number six is format. I don't know about you, but I hate to see just one block of unformatted text. So I like to ask the AI to format my text into headings, subheadings, and bullet points as well. This just makes it so much easier to consume and also to understand as well. Number seven is your own data. So feed it some of your own data. This could be in the form 
of a PDF, in the form of your website link, or even an image. Now, the free version of ChatGPT won't allow you to upload data, but you could simply go to your website and copy the text from there and then manually paste it into ChatGPT and ask it to use that as a data source. Now, what you will notice with all the instructions so far, we are giving ChatGPT as much info as possible. Because remember, the more info we give it, the better results we can get in return. So number eight is questions. Example, you could ask it something like this. Feel free to ask me as many questions as possible in order to get the best possible outcome. So if ChatGPT does not understand any of your instructions, or if it wants more info, you are now allowing it to ask you questions so that it can clarify your instructions, which will ultimately allow you to get the best possible outcome. By just adding this simple step, this will allow you to take your output to the next level. And number nine is break it down. So now we have given ChatGPT a lot of instructions and sometimes ChatGPT tends to get confused and it won't do everything that you asked it to do. So by breaking your prompt into smaller bite-sized instructions, it makes it easier for ChatGPT to understand. Now, I did say that this is a simple ChatGPT framework, but I didn't say that this is a short framework. So breaking it up will be really useful. Now, let's go over that framework again. So number one is a role with a speciality. Number two is a task. Number three is who is it for? Number four is a goal. Number five is a reference text. Number six is format. Number seven is your own data. Number eight is question. Number nine is break it down. Now let me show you this whole framework in action. So let's head over to ChatGPT. And as you will notice for this example, I'm actually using the free version, which is ChatGPT 3.5 just to show you that this works on any version. So firstly, I stated, you are a copywriter, which is the role. You specialize in writing high converting sales copy, which is the speciality. I want you to write a sales page. That is the task. That is what I wanted to do. Who is it for? It's for my dental practice called Miami Dental. And then I went further and stated, we specialize in dental veneers. And then the next step is my goal. So my goal is to get more bookings and I want to use a free dental assessment as a hook to get patients to book an appointment. Now here again, I didn't just say my goal is to get more bookings. So you will notice with everything, I try to expand as much as possible. Because as I stated earlier, the more info we give it, the better results we can get in return. And then to end the first prompt, I'm stating, do not write anything. Just let me know that you understand. So what I've done, I've actually broken the prompt up into smaller bite-sized instructions. And then ChatGPT replied, got it. You want a sales page for Miami Dental, highlighting their specialization in dental veneers with a focus on attracting more bookings through a free dental assessment offer. I'll craft compelling copy to promote this offer and drive conversions. But as you can see, it just told me what it will do, but it didn't do it because I instructed it not to do anything. So then my next prompt is strictly write everything at a sixth grade reading level, write in a simple, witty and casual tone, but be mature and professional. We are professionals and a business after all, write everything in the first person. Use the ADA framework, write in the style and tone of Billie Jean. Now, this is the reference text. So, I'm not giving it some of my own text, but I'm asking it to write in the style of Billie Jean. Now, Billie Jean is an excellent worldwide renowned marketer. But you will notice, I didn't just say write in the style and tone of Billie Jean. I gave it more info as well. I asked it, how to write, example, in a sixth grade reading level, in a witty and casual tone. And I also asked it to use the ADA framework. Now, for those of you who don't know, 
the ADA framework is actually a copywriting framework, which stands for attention, interest, desire, and action. Now, here again, you will notice that I'm giving it as much info as possible. And then I'm stating, format the copy in headings, subheadings, paragraphs, and bullet points where necessary. So that is my format. And thereafter, I'm stating, here are my business details and the service I am looking to sell. So I'm stating business name, Miami Dental, service, dental veneers, website, and then I'm giving it a link to my website. And thereafter, I just copied some text from this sample website. I don't know whose website this is. This is just an example that I used. So I just copied some text from this website. And then I went back to ChatGPT and then I pasted this in there. So I use this as my own data. And then lastly, in this prompt, I stated, do not write anything. Just let me know that you understand. So here again, I'm breaking up the prompt even further. And then ChatGPT stated, got it. Then in my next prompt, I asked it, feel free to ask me as many questions as you like in order to get the best possible outcome. So now, as you can see, I'm asking it to ask me questions if it needs any clarification. And ChatGPT actually states, thank you, here are a few questions to help me tailor the copy to your needs, which is what we want. We want it to be tailored for us. So as you can see, this is going to be a really critical step. Now, can you see all these are relevant questions? And had I not asked it to ask me questions, I would have never even thought about all of this. Now, because this is just a made up scenario, so I don't know who this company is. So all I'm asking ChatGPT to do is hallucinate all the answers. This is just a text. Now, obviously, you would answer all of these questions accurately. Because remember, the more accurate you are going to be, the more info you are going to give it, and that will allow you to get better results in return. Now, as you can see, it hallucinated all the answers. So now for the last prompt, I'm simply asking it to with all the info you now have, write the sales copy. So now it's going to remember all the previous conversations that we had. And now it is going to write the sales copy that we wanted initially. Now, as you can see, this is what it has given me in return. And this is actually pretty good. So it gave me a headline. It gave me an intro. It gave me subheadings because I requested that. More subheadings, subheadings one, two, three subheading four as well and then subheading five and then it added bullet points which i asked for as well and then it gave me a call to action and a closing so this is actually pretty good now you will notice that i just use simple terms i did not try and over complicate it i might have even made some grammar errors as well but ChatGPT is smart enough to pick up on those grammar errors so the idea is not to try and over complicate it you just want to try and communicate in the way that you naturally do. So I hope this opened your mind on the possibilities that ChatGBT offers. So try this out and let me know if this changes the way that you use ChatGBT. Hit the like button if you found this video useful. And if you want to learn more about AI, this video may be useful to you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this.